Yes, I'm by the names of Dennis Cavito. I'm coming from Uganda and resident in the central region of Uganda. I have a small farm, mainly coming from a subsistence farm of, of around um, four hectares. The impacts of our climate change are very vivid in our country, and these are seen through the changes in the food production system, especially having heavy rains, uh, which we usually call El Ninos in our country. Uh, having uh, the desert is moving from the north to the south. There's a lot of deforestation as people look for energy, because firewood is our main source of energy. And then there are impacts towards health, because when there is low productivity because of, of the changes in climate, then the nutrition is also affected, especially for the children and for the mothers and for, for the people across the country. And then also the other impact is economic. Once there is total product failure within the country, then you'll find that there will be less incomes to the farmers and to the economy. And we usually have an adage that says, if there is no food, if there is no farmer, there is no food, and maybe there is no future. Uh, some of the outcomes I would want is that uh, to have, especially the young population, the young farmers, helped in building their resilience. Because it's like in Africa, it's a continent that is uh, having so many old people in the farming generation and these are, may not be able to cope with the changing climate but if we begin with the young ones and try to sensitize them, train them on adaptation measures and all that then maybe we can have a change and we would like to see UN based agencies like IFAD, like the FAO and all that invest more in rural people, especially those that are concerned with climate smart adaptation agriculture. As, among, as the national coordinator for the young farmers in, through the National Farmers Union, would like to help us in building the structure, especially for the young farmers across the country, that will provide a voice and to sensitize all the young people about climate change and its impacts and how we can build this resilience. And uh, the other aspect is looking at financing climate smart production systems. Simple climate smart production systems that are usually liked by the youth because they can accrue money very fast and in a short period of time. So such kind of simple guarantee schemes for those in production could be helpful. And lastly, also to build, uh, to help in the um, the National Farmers Union in uh, ICT, especially the aspect of communication, it's important because it, everything starts from communication and bringing the people together to know more of what is happening, then they can use their indigenous knowledge to try to cope.